Listen to me. I need you to be brave. A man will come and take you away. I cannot go with you. This is how it has to be. This man is different. He will protect you. Please don't judge him for what he might do. I'm sorry. Maybe someday you will understand. Forty-seven. This is Benjamin Travis. The money has been wired to your account. Welcome to Chicago. I appreciate you taking this assignment, 47. It is never easy targeting our own, but Diana Burnwood's treason must be dealt with. I would send in one of the teams, but this is a job for a scalpel, not a hammer. Reasons are irrelevant. Exactly. Good luck, 47. Sir. Yeah, it's an ice cream truck. Yeah, I know. I'll get rid of him. Hey, get out of here. We don't want anything. What about your partner? What partner? What is going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new series. This is Hitman Absolution. And we're going to be playing this on professional purist difficulty, which means that the tutorial is disabled. We're just left to our own devices. So yeah, what it means when you're playing on professional purist difficulty is that you don't get any help. There's no guides. Uh, there's no interface other than a crosshair. And all of the AI is set to the highest possible difficulty, as it is on all of the other professional difficulties as well. So let's get straight to it. And the way that I'm going to be playing this as well is that I'm going to try to minimize surveillance cameras, motion detectors, some of those new automatic sentry guns. Huh? Hello? One of the best ways to play the game is to uh, keep kills at a minimum because that way it reduces the amount of contact that you're having with the, the hostiles. It means that you're less likely to get killed. You could garrot that guy, you could garrot that guy, we're not gonna. We should be able to get through no problem without having to interact with them. And there's a guy here we're gonna need to distract. If you took a brick or a book at this wall over here. Like so. Man, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter over. You would think it would check where the brick came from rather than just checking the uh, the brick itself, but never mind. And now we need to sit here and wait for this guy to have a conversation with this guy. 
Hopefully we won't get seen in the meantime. How's it going, Hank? Come to check on me, Junior. What? Just doing my rounds. Please. My wife's the state champion in gossip. It's only a matter of time. Not that I don't appreciate your concern. Mark my words, kid. You should get yeah, out And now soldier. we can head out. We'll build a bridge or save some sea turtles. So that's the first area. Not too bad at all. And this is the next area. And this would usually teach you how to use the intuition feature, which would show a path of this guard going over there. I tell you, this gig is like watching paint dry, but at least the service is good. We're not going to do that though, and we're not going to interact with these guys. We're just going to walk straight past and pick up this disguise. Because we want to be a cowboy. Put the knife away and stand up <laughs> and try and act normal. I wonder what she's so frightened of. I need to use intuition to get past here. Crank these personal spares. I don't know about you, but I'm not exactly used to working with armed guards. We should be fine getting through this area as well now. We'll just stick behind this guy. We just need to pull this, uh, turn this valve. Sorry, pal, new rules. This area is off limits unless there's security. Just perfect. I'm gonna kill these maintenance clowns. Yep, they just nah, had a bad day. Pays them a week in advance. Come on, let's check out the boats. And now we can head out here as well. Ordinarily, the tutorial would tell you you can, you can either kill them or just leave them. We're gonna leave them. I'm gonna head out onto this ledge. And through the compound. Accessing mansion and approaching target. Good. Infiltrate the mansion and terminate Diana Burnwood. And Victoria, bring her in. Unharmed. She is very dear to me. And the what? agency. You're kidding. Wait, are, are you sure? It's not prostate cancer. I could kiss you. I mean, that's great news. Oh, man. You made my date. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Yeah. Oh, man. I thought I was a goner. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of doing that is what matters the most. <laughs> it doesn't count if he hasn't said that he thought he was a goner. <laughs> We're going to move on now. We are going to have to kill this guy, I think. I think there is a way to do this without killing him, but we're going to kill him anyway. Because we love killing people with knife headshots. I'm going to take the knife back just in case we need it later. I'm going to take his disguise and we're going to chuck his body over the edge. Even though nobody's going to see it, we're going to dispose of it anyway just in case because we're professional like that. Goodbye, sweet dreams. <laughs> and onwards we shall go. And this is pretty much the area of the game where the uh, tutorial would end if you weren't playing on the hardest difficulty. We'll take the evidence tape from here. And switch off the security. And that is us done with the tutorial area. Once we go through this door, it starts the game for real. And we've got two objectives. Um, the first one is to... Get some sleeping pills from upstairs. The second one is to kill the chef. Chef is going to have a bad day. So we'll wait for this guard to head past. Sounds like a team briefing in the living room. Better haul ass. The head hates having to repeat this. And the sleeping pills are in the bathroom upstairs here. We're going to put this into the head of security's uh, coffee. To make our life a little bit easier. The girls in her room remain so for the time being. For those of you who do not know that the chef will probably still be having a conversation with this dude in here. Come on, you can tell me. My lips are sealed. This recipe is a trade secret handed down from master to apprentice for centuries. I will take the secret ingredient with me to the grave. And that will not take very this long, Mr. Chef. No. No! What do you take me for? Salt? 
Please, I am one of the finest chefs in this culinary wasteland you call a nation. You put liquid butter on your popcorn, and you have the nerve to make assumptions about my award-winning recipes. Salt. Shame on you, sir. Shame. Now go on. Get out of here. Shh, 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 shh. All right, all right, relax. I was only asking. Christ, don't have a heart attack. Out, I say. <laughs> Go guard a gate, or shoot at some beer cans, you big ape. Sacred blur, indeed. Quite an annoying chef. I'm not going to regret stabbing him in the head. <laughs> and we'll take our knife back once again. We'll take his disguise. And the way that it works with disguises on Hitman Absolution is if you're dressed as a security guy and you... Why did I just do that? If you walk past a security guy, then he is likely to say something suspicious. But if you're dressed as a chef and you walk past the security guard, then he's not going to say something suspicious. So it's in your best interest to be in the disguise of whoever is the least amount of that character in the level. If that makes any sense. Which it probably doesn't. <laughs> but yeah. Basically what it means is I am now okay to walk around on the entire first floor. I don't care. Order one of those mobile restrooms to put in the garden. That guy there is the head of security. Infiltration by allowing anyone into and that the there is his coffee. Has not been directly approved by myself or by my. Stay sharp, man. I've urgent business with gate security. Okay, so what's going to happen now is he's going to hobble around here into the chair in the corner. Which gives us plenty of time to come through this way and prepare ourselves. Which the prepare the preparation isn't particularly difficult. It is just put the knife in our hand and be ready to throw it into his face. <sighs> Cramps. I need to sit just for a moment. And that was a pretty good shot. <laughs> We can't take his outfit, but we can take his keycard, and that's what will get us upstairs. We don't need to hide his body, because I believe nobody will see it. And upwards we shall travel. And on to pretty much the final area of this level. We will open the blinds, though, because that means that nobody will be looking in this direction. They'll be all looking outside. And it's just a little extra bit of help for us, a little bit of extra cover, as we walk through the door. Closing in on target. Well done, 47. Now remember, Diana brought this on herself. She betrayed us, the agency, the code, everything we stand for. She is too dangerous to be left alive. Think about that when you pull the trigger. And this is pretty much it for Diana. Forty-seven. Report forty-seven. I should kill you. Why did you do this? Forty-seven. Captain, what's wrong with this thing? We all have our limits, even you. Forty-seven. We used to have honor. Diana, I... No. I had to take... 
take her away from the doctors. I knew you would understand. Fuck. Something's not right. You won't last long. There's no time. You still have a chance. In my robe. A letter. Now go. Take the girl and run. Before Travis finds out. Please. Do not let her turn to you. Promise me. I promise. Right, okay, so now we can head on out. We need to go and find Victoria, which there isn't much involved in finding her. We just need to do some point and shoot tutorial area of the game, which is right here, which you access by using the intuition and choosing point shooting. And then you can select people's faces to be uh, attacked with bullets, like thus. Very nice. That guy had a hard time dying and this guy died really well. That's a nice one. <laughs> and that's it for this level. You know who I am. I know. She's dead, isn't she? Come on, stay close to me. Where are we going? Get in. It's done. Excellent work, 47. Bring the girl to the extraction point. Why did the agency want you? I don't know, I guess I might have- <gasps> Diana did this for you, why? Please, she was my only friend. She took me away from the doctors. Tell me about the doctors. It's really blurry. Like, a really bad dream. Why? We need to go. Sir, there's nobody here. I think the asset has gone AWOL. God damn it! I was afraid it couldn't do it. I want every agent on this. You hear me, Jade? Locate 47 before he slips between the cracks. Guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please do leave a like. If you want to see more, then please subscribe. And until next time, stay stealthy.